Lindsay Stroud, and I'm on faculty at Wake Forest University School of Medicine in the Department of Dermatology, and I'm here today with Dr. Aaron Farber, who is on faculty at Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. And we're going to talk today about everyone's favorite topic, which is adherence, uh, patient adherence. And, you know, that's a topic that when I was in residency, I actually don't think we talked a whole lot about, but it is something that I think now being out in practice and, and you know, kind of following patients long, longitudinally, I think is uh, a really important concept to understand and to realize you know, how it plays a role in, in patient outcomes. What's your kind of take on, on patient adherence? Compliance and patient adherence is absolutely critical, right? So one of the first things I set up with my patients is that this is a team and we are going to work together. Whether you need, you have too many creams, you have too few, or hey, one of the medicines we prescribed you isn't working, the only way I will know that is if I'm told. So from the start, one of the most important things I tell all my patients is that we need to continue to work together. How do you handle things like this? Well, I think you make a great point, Erin. I think, you know, sometimes it, it can almost feel like the physician-patient is like an adversarial type of situation, and we really want it to be, we're on the same team, right? We're playing, playing for the same team. We have shared goals, which is, you know, we want them to get better and, and to be able to improve their skin. And so I think, you know, starting out with that, like you mentioned, is I, I think a really great way to kind of set the stage, open lines of communication with the patient. And sometimes that can be hard. I mean, with some, you know, younger patients or teenagers, they, you know, they may not feel as comfortable talking directly with a physician. I know, you know, sometimes I'll come into a room and, and there'll be a teen there and they'll kind of like look to their mom or dad to answer the questions instead of, you know, talking, talking directly to me. But, you know, I completely agree with, you know, making sure that they're being honest and that we're having a good dialogue is, is a great first step. Um, and I think, like you mentioned, just trying to maybe keep the regimen a little bit on the simpler side for patients that maybe, you know, really desire a more simplistic kind of straightforward treatment program is, is a great idea. Who do you think follows the instructions better, the adults or the teens in your <laughs> practice? I, you know, I think it's less by age and more by maybe personality or motivation. So sometimes in my practice, what I've seen is, you know, there'll be teenagers, they, they come in and they're kind of dragged in by mom and maybe they don't really want to be there. They don't care. And then maybe they find someone they like or they go to college and all of a sudden they, you know, are highly motivated to, you know, to improve their skin. And, and then they'll do typically whatever you suggest. Uh, they're kind of all in at that point. So I think motivation, you know, to me kind of plays a big, a big role in adherence. It's an important point, particularly when you're treating the pediatric population. You're not just treating them. You're treating the parent yes. that's also in the room. Uh, and, and I always make a point to really focus on uh, the teen and, and let them know that, hey, I'm here to help you and make sure that you're getting the treatment that you want and then bringing the parents on board as well. Yeah, and I think it's great to, to try and clarify, you know, what their goal is, what their expectation is, and make sure that that matches kind of what we're doing from a treatment standpoint. So sometimes those goals, you know, may not be realistic, and it's good to maybe, you know, have that discussion up front with patients so they don't get frustrated or disappointed, you know, if, if say, they, they don't have clear skin in a couple days, and, and that's their expectation. So I think that can sometimes also help in terms of, getting into the plan for kind of the long haul as opposed to just short term. It's a very important point that I think really stretches across all the patients that we see is making sure that we can manage their expectations. Yes. Well, Erin, this was fun. Thanks for coming and talking with me. And, and, you know, hopefully we shared some information that can be useful for some of our listeners. <laughs>